Hello everybody, my name is Nikhil and uh, this is going to be my first ever video on Div Nikhil. So, what better way to start a YouTube channel than uh, make a tutorial? So the first thing I'm going to be making in this, well the first video I'm going to be creating is going to be a tutorial about redstone. So redstone basics. Now a lot of you guys may be wondering right off the bat while I'm playing my music like this, it's just um, no, I just put the record in there just so you don't hear my annoying computer sounds of the fan spinning. So anyway, let's get into the guide. So, I'm guessing you guys know how to get redstone ready, and if you don't, then don't worry, I'll explain it. So, right here in front of us, we have redstone ore. Now, if you mine redstone ore, you get this pretty stuff in my hand, which you should not consume in any way, shape, or form. It's really not going to be good for you. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, you find this at, I would say, level 20 or lower. You need an iron pickaxe to mine these ores. And you get around about, I'd say, 2 to 6 redstone dust every time you mine one of these blocks. So, now you've got your redstone dust. What can you do with it? So, here you can see I've already laid down a few. So, you can pretty much just place it and then, you know, destroy it. In your case, you'd probably be able to get the actual item back, but because I'm playing in creative, I'm not getting it back. Now, let's move on to the second example. Here we have a, you know, a simple design. We have a sandstone block. It has a lever on top of it, a button on the actual sandstone block, and then you have redstone dust that connects to a cobblestone and a unlit lantern. So let me just explain this guys to you, to actually power redstone you have to have a block which is this sandstone block in our case, you actually have to have that block powered. Now to power that block there are several ways you can do that. Now right here I have two methods, I have a lever and a button. So once we flip this lever this block will turn into a powered, a powered block sending current through the minecraft dust, minecraft I mean redstone dust to this cobblestone to light the lit the lantern. So let's switch the lever and see it happen. So when you're ready to turn off your lever, just flick it back off again. And you're done. Now same thing with the button, only that with the button it will only last for a few seconds. So about a second or maybe even half a second. Like so. Let me just go back in, re-update my tune. There we go. Now, here we have another example. Now, what this is, is um, lanterns underneath redstone dust. And the redstone dust is connected to another sandstone block that is powered by a leather. Now, I have signs here, and it just counts. They're just, you know, letters. Well, basically, letters within numbers. Like, numbers within letters, sorry, on signs. And it just goes all the way up to 16. Now, 16 is a very important number with redstone. Redstone can only be powered for 16 blocks. Once you get to 16, the current will finish and end. So, on the 16th block, you can actually see that... Well, I don't know if you can see it pretty well, but... It's actually not being powered, but the lantern underneath it has been lit. And the reason why is because this one here is still sending current over to this lantern. Allowing this lantern to light up. Now, there are ways of extending the power, which I'm going to show you now. Right here in this setup, we have a sandstone block with a lever on top. It's also a powered block because the lever is switched on. So it's powering the redstone, and it goes all the way up to about 16 blocks. And you can see that on the 17th block, um, oh sorry, on the 16th block, which is this one here, it's not actually emitting any particles like the rest of the redstone wires. Now, down here I have a cobblestone and an unlit lantern. I want to light this lantern without actually, you know, shrinking down my design or bringing the powered block down further. Now to do this, I have a chest. And in the chest I have... <coughs> Excuse me there guys, I'm sorry I got a cold. I got a few redstone. And I have a few... I should actually have redstone repeaters in this chest. But for some reason I don't. Anyway, I got some on me. So we're gonna head down to the redstone 
area which is unpowered which is a 16th block which is here and we're going to get rid of that 16th block now if you remember what i told you from just then you would know that the 16th block still has current so within this block radius there should still be current so i could put one of these repeaters down and the repeaters should boost the power bringing it along all the way to this cobblestone block powering it and then turning on the lantern so let's just test that out voila and there you go now what i'm going to quickly show you guys is a little trick with repeaters now repeaters can be set into ticks so one repeater can set to four ticks so if you right click a repeater it will actually move I've actually clicked this four times, so this is going to have four clicks before it sets the power along. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys an example of this. As you can see there, there was a delay in power. Now if we were to actually place more repeaters in front of this one and set them all to different clicks, they can all be random, it doesn't really matter, and we were to um, activate the redstone current, you can actually see the power slowly passing along the repeaters. Now, if we were to just put these back to one tick each, you can actually see that the current actually passed through a lot faster because it's only taken one tick per repeater for the current to go past. So, a good thing you can do with this technique is build things that have a delay. So, once something is activated, it takes a few seconds before it actually works. Now, for instance, I'm not going to actually show you an example. I'm just going to hope you have good enough imagine you have a good enough imagination to be able to visualize this. And uh, what you can do is you can actually make a um, you can actually make a you can actually make a uh, a secret door, a secret passage, so to say. And uh, so when someone clicks a button, it opens up within, I would say, maybe. If you had a load of repeaters, you could probably make it open up within a minute after they've clicked that button. That's an easy thing you can easily do. Now, I quickly want to go into this thing here. So what I've set up here is um, some basic things you can use redstone with. And the reason why is if you're going to watch this video on, you know, the basics of redstone, you should have a little bit of knowledge of what you can use and play around with. So what I have here is a... Um, a wooden pressure plate and that's just my wooden pressure plate is going to be the block the powered block so I'm going to come on to that into further detail when we get over into that corner over there but for the meantime we have redstone hooked up so once I power this block the whole of this redstone is going to light up and all of these are just gonna just react now I have repeaters here you don't have to use repeaters you could just do a single line of currency redstone to the actual you know item or object itself so we got here a trap door really good if you're going to be building a mine we have a lantern which just lights up once it's powered we have a piss uh, dispenser sorry which shoots out in this case speed potions uh, we have a sticky piston a regular piston a fence gate a door and an iron door which can only be opened through current now if we step on this pressure plate all of these things should react just like that so you guys keep this in mind, I probably will put these in the description as well so you know which ones of these things you can actually use and play around with within your game. Now, what else can you use to power blocks? You can use a stone pressure plate, a wooden pressure plate, here I have wool, don't pay attention to the purple wool, but you can actually use a lever or a button. So if you stand on the stone pressure plate, it activates the redstone. If we stand on the wooden pressure plate, it activates the redstone. If we flick the lever, it activates the redstone, and the same thing with the button. Now, you've got these special things called redstone torches. Now, redstone torches can actually power redstone without actually needing to, um, you know, actually step on something. They're already lit. They're already they're already a powered item. So you've got to place it down and it just powers the actual item itself. Now a nice thing to play about is Minecraft, minecarts in Minecraft. And right here I've got an example of a um, uh, a detector rail. I don't know, I think it's a powered rail actually, not a detected rail. And once we put power or some kind of signal or current into this rail, 
what it will do is it will extend the power and push any minecarts that go over it. So if we push this minecraft minecart now, and it goes over this powered um, rail, you can see it actually pushes the minecart all the way back around. Now an interesting fact for you guys to understand about this, just in case you're going to be playing around with this, is once you're in a minecart, you actually travel further. You only need one of these powered rails every 30 blocks. So I'm going to give you an example of that. If the minecart goes around on its own, it just about or doesn't and have enough power to go back around again. But if I was to so, say I was to push this and then get in, it would somehow magically have enough power to go around again. And again, and again, and again. So, this is just a basic guide for you guys just to uh, kind of follow. Just put my music in again. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be my first video on my channel. Haven't, I have yet to have a subscriber. Um, I really am looking forward to seeing your comments. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.